Hello fabulous Aries, welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2016, general focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. This month we have a party going on and it's happening at the very top of your sky. There will be a new moon as well as a bunch of planets meeting and in some cases powerful meetings happening in the same area. Now the very top of your sky tends to be one of the more sensitive parts of your sky, of your chart. And so when occurrences happen here, it tends to have a sweeping effect. You tend to feel it in a lot of different ways and in many different areas of life. The top of the sky really has to do with a sense of manifestation. It has to do with success and how you define success. The goals you think are worth reaching for, on a literal level, it also has to do with your career, your relationship with bosses, um, interview situations as well. And on more personal levels, it has to do with life purpose and the legacy that you desire to create and how it is that you go about doing it. So clearly a very important part of the sky that really can color how we see so many different areas of life. So you have a new moon happening here. New moons are new beginnings. They're fresh starts and also fresh insights. But Mercury's retrograde in the same part of the sky. So some of the insights you get might not be completely 100% accurate, okay? So that's all right, that can happen. Just know that if around the early to middle part of the month, if you get the chance to interview for a job and it's a new job or a promotion, it might not be what you think it's going to be. That doesn't mean it won't be fabulous. It might be still, but just know, allow that little bit of room to understand that it might not match up to what otherwise uh, you think is very clear cut. Also with interview situations as well, I look at this new moon and it is happening with Pluto in the sky. In fact, it is happening right around the time that the sun is going to meet Pluto in the sky for their annual visit, happens once a year, and represents a moment of truth for us all, a real turning point, if you will. And when I look at this, and the fact that also Uranus is speaking to this new moon, but also Jupiter in supreme harmony, it does suggest that maybe some of your first impressions, uh, maybe some of your initial reactions might not be um, as things appear and things might actually be a whole lot better and opportunities that show up now might be a whole lot better than you currently realize. In fact, if you are putting yourself out there trying something new, you might at first feel a little awkward, feel a little weird, feel like, oh, I wish things were going better. They, I don't know if this is right. Um, and having mixed feelings all around, maybe even being thrown a curveball or two. And you might tell yourself, this means this isn't what I meant to do. However, you've got to give it just a little bit of time. Give it a few days at the very least and allow the newness of things to settle in. And then you'll be able to make a much more accurate assessment as to your direction. So when we have a new moon and all this activity at the very top of your sky, it pretty much guarantees a realignment, a more powerful alignment with your ultimate direction. If you've been walking in a direction and walking on a path that you feel good about or not, but on some level you know it's where you need to be right now, then that message will be strengthened. If you have been walking down a path that whether you know or not really is not really um, as, as cool, as big a plan as the universe has for you, you know, a lot of times we think, and I like to share sometimes that we think something we want is so big and we think, wow, that would be the hugest thing to accomplish. That would be the most amazing thing to accomplish. But the thing that we don't realize is that from the universe's perspective, it's actually very small. It actually is a vision for our life that doesn't nearly take into account all these, these other things that the universe might have planned for us which ultimately could be a higher vision, a more prosperous vision, and a vision of a whole lot more fulfillment. Usually we know on some level, and we also know on some level when one path was right for a time, but now has served its purpose. But sometimes that realization can seem to come out of nowhere. 
So this may be the case. If you know or you don't know that you're not on a path you're not supposed to be on, the universe will start to make that very, very clear. This also can be a little bit of a delay but not denial type of situation as well where the universe is meant to test your resolve. Where it is that you are on the right path, you are gonna get that much more clarity. You're gonna reflect on the meaningfulness of this and focus your attention and all your ambitious energy towards your aims and towards the fresh starts and also fresh opportunities that are possible to you now. As we move towards the later part of the month, the energy gets decidedly more fun. It becomes about kids or you being a big kid. Uh, it becomes about enjoying life and actually focusing on your creativity and finding fulfillment in that. In fact, I do think the full moon taking place in the later part of the month is speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn, which does suggest to me that good news all around where it comes to if you have a child or any kids in your life or if you want children, this again, good news all around, feeling like you're moving in a positive direction. If you have a creative project that you've put your heart and soul and creation energy into, this can also be a time to see some wonderful fruitions take place in regards to those goals and dreams. What I love about this month for you is this whole motto, work hard, play hard. In the early part of the month, it is, there is a lot of working hard, a lot of dedicating yourself, a lot of getting clear and getting just right focused on where it is that you want to pour your energy to make something big happen. And then as we approach the end of the month, the rewards come, the understanding comes that the two ultimately balance out. The more you give, the more you get. And the more it is that you're willing to focus and work towards the things, the aims, the goals, the ambitions that matter to you, the more it is ultimately that you're able to enjoy your life.